What's up everybody? Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be working on this 2016 Honda Civic. I'm going to be replacing the radiator and the condenser. The condenser I still have it in the box. So the customer was driving the vehicle and he hit a cone and he damaged the condenser. You're able to see the, the damage right there. So he damaged the condenser and the radiator. Um, I tried draining the, the gas from the AC but uh, it's empty, nothing came out of it. And I also tried to drain the, the radiator fluid, the antifreeze, and um, nothing came out of the radiator as well. So I'm not gonna do that because I tried doing it and there's, it's empty, there's nothing. There's no antifreeze on it, but you drain it. There's a drain on the, on the driver's side and there's another drain on the passenger. This is on the new one and I assume it's gonna have the same drains on the, on the old one. So I'm gonna start off by taking the, the plastics, this plastic off. So I think I have to remove all of these right here and then this plastic and then this one right here. Then I'm gonna start removing the bumper. So it has clips all around and to the bottom of the bumper. And um, once I remove the bumper, then, then I'm gonna start working on the, um, on the core support. I think that one you unbolt it and everything comes off together in one piece. I'm not really sure, I've never done it, but we're gonna find out. So I'm gonna start off by taking these clips off. I already kinda took them off. So I'm just gonna take all of them off. I'm just gonna put them right here and this plastic should come off. So I'm gonna put it on the side for now. Now I'm gonna start removing the clips from the bumper. I have the car on the lift, so I'm gonna race it up to make it easier for me. Okay, for the bumper, it has two Phillips screws. I'm gonna remove both of them. So this is one right here. And then I'm gonna take the other one off. And I'm gonna take the two off on the passenger side as well. Okay, on the bottom it has a 10 so it has a 10 millimeter and then it has a, an allen and it's gonna be the same thing on the driver's side there's the 10 and then there's the other allen so i'm gonna take both of those off i'm gonna start with this side over here I'm gonna set it on the table. I'm gonna take the one from the other side. I'm gonna put it on the table as well. Ellen. Put him on the table. Okay, so there it is. Now the bumper should be loose. And um it's 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 pretty much it's pretty much loose already. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring it down and then I'm just gonna pull off the bumper. Okay, so now all you gotta do is just pull off the bumper. So you just gotta be 
So you just gotta be careful when you pull it out. And then the and these pieces you just you just pull them out as well. So on, on these pieces on the top, there's just clips. You just gotta be careful. And all you do is just, just pull them out. You gotta use both hands. I already took this one off as well. And the bottom. So I'm gonna completely pull the bumper off. Okay, so I got the bumper off, like I said, for the top, it only has these clips holding the top of the bumper. There's uh, the other clips on the top. On the middle, it has more clips. You gotta be careful not to break them. And um, on this one, same thing, it's just plastic clips that you just gotta pull it out, but you gotta be careful not to break them. And it's gonna be the same thing on this side. There's clips and then there's more clips over here. And, um, and there's the bumper. Okay, so I'm gonna take this one off now. On this one, it only has four bolts. It's one right here and two in the middle. And then the other one right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that one off. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and take this bracket off now that I unbolted. I'm gonna put it on the side. I'm able to see the the impact where the damage is. So there's a damage on the condenser and the radiator. Okay, so now, now I'm gonna remove these, these two brackets that hold the radiator together. And, um, and then I'm gonna take um, this other bracket off. So there's only two, two bolts. It's one right here and then the other one right here. And on the other end, there is another two. So I'm gonna start off by taking the, the brackets for the radiator and then I'm gonna take this big piece off right now. Okay, I got the radiator brackets off and then the other four bolts for the bracket on top, which is this one right here. So I got those two, those two off. I took all these, these four off, these four bolts, but um, it still doesn't come off. There's another, there's another bolt right there and another bolt on this side. Let me see if I can show you guys. So it's um, it's underneath the, oh there it is. It's underneath the hose. So I'm gonna have to remove the air filter housing on this side to get this one off. And then on this one, I should be able to get it with a ratchet and a socket. Okay, I just removed the bottom piece of the air filter housing. So it has two bolts, one right here, the other one right here, and two plastic clips. It's gonna be those right there. So I already removed the rest of the bolts for this bracket over here. So I'm just gonna take this off and I'm, I'm just gonna put it on the side. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna put it on top of the motor. I don't have to take it completely off. So now I should have enough room to remove the, the radiator and the condenser. So now I'm gonna disconnect the hoses and the lines for the condenser. There's one line right there. There's another one on the bottom for the condenser. That's why I have to disconnect. And on the radiator, it's only this hose right here. This one for the upper radiator hose. And the other one's gonna be on the bottom. So that one, I'm gonna do it from underneath the car. And there's gonna be two bolts for the fan, one right here, and the other one's gonna be underneath the, the radiator hose. So. Okay, so I removed both radiator fan bolts and there's another two way on the bottom. So I'm just gonna take off the fan, the radiator and the condenser at the same time. Right now I'm gonna disconnect the condenser. I'm just gonna make sure there's no pressure. If, and if there is, I'm gonna drain the pressure. This one, there is no, no pressure because um, it's damaged. And uh, I'm gonna disconnect this hose. There's one bolt right there. I'm gonna disconnect the motor for the fan. And then I'm just gonna remove all the wires around it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and disconnect the bottom radiator hose. Okay, on the bottom, all you have to do is just remove the radiator hose. I already took this one off. There was a little bit of antifreeze, not a big deal. And then you just move this one to the side. I just put it underneath the, the plastic uh, retainer. So I'm gonna go to the top again. Okay, on the top, I'm just gonna remove these two lines. I already removed the bolts. Make sure the system 
it's not charged because it might be dangerous so make sure it's empty and it's discharged okay now on this side i'm just gonna remove the radiator hose and then this small hose that goes here so that's the small hose and that's the radiator hose and i'm also gonna disconnect the the fan and undo these two clips that it has put it on the side on this side there is another wire there's another wire that goes right there so i'm gonna remove those two clips and then i gotta remove this tent right here and i should be able to pull out the condenser the radiator and the fan okay so i pretty much got everything loose there's another sensor that goes right here this one right here so make sure you disconnect it and uh, i'm gonna try to pull everything out now okay so i got it out so there it is i had to play with it because of these plastics they don't they kind of get in the way but if you play with it a little bit you're able to take it out without removing these plastics okay so i'm gonna go ahead and put the new radiator on this one has a sensor so i'm gonna remove that drain and i'm gonna put the sensor where it's supposed to go and then i'm gonna bolt on the new condenser okay so this is the old radiator and condenser you guys can see the damage i got the new ones here they're ready to go in i ended up removing this plastic on the passenger side to make it easier to install the radiator and condenser so i'm gonna go ahead and put everything back together okay i already installed the radiator and the condenser make sure that when you install the radiator and condenser you put this plastic at the same time everything goes in at once because if you put the radiator and condenser and then you try to install this plastic it's not gonna go in i also connected the lines for the condenser and um, i also connected the the hoses this is the upper radiator hose and i connected the fan and put all the electrical clips on on this side um, i also put this bracket for the hose it's connected and um, i connected the sensor on the bottom so that sensor is connected and then this one as well so now i'm gonna go ahead and put this this bracket right here and then i'm just gonna put the rest of the stuff that needs to go on okay the lower radiator hose is on i already put this hose on the retainer so i'm gonna go back to installing the the bumper and the brackets okay so i already installed this piece it's like a core support bracket or cross member so it's already on um this one only has one bolt on the on the front one on the top and one on the back this one it's gonna bolt on with the other bracket that goes on top of it so on this one on this side it's gonna be the same thing i already put my brackets for the radiator support and uh and i already installed all my hoses on the on the clips so they're on the clips already I'm gonna go ahead and install the air filter housing and then I'm gonna throw that bracket on after. Okay, so the air filter housing is on. It was just those two bolts and the clips. I already installed this bracket as well. It's just four bolts. Um, I didn't have any clips for this one, so I just put zip ties on the ends. Now I'm gonna go ahead and install the, the front bumper. Okay, so the bumper is on. Pretty much all you gotta do is just, you just gotta push it on and the clips are gonna hold it in place. I still gotta put these uh, screws. So I'm gonna do that right now. I'm gonna put the, the screws and, and the bolts underneath and then uh, I'm gonna make sure everything's, everything's on properly. Okay, so I put on my last screws and, and bolts underneath. Now I'm gonna bring the car down and I'm gonna add the antifreeze. Okay, I'm gonna finish adding the antifreeze to the radiator and I'm gonna bleed the air out, but that's gonna be it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and if you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you.